There are some key differences between national winners and one loft race winners in the world of pigeon racing. National winners compete in races organized by national pigeon racing associations, while one loft races bring together pigeons from many different lofts to compete in a single race. Here is an in-depth look at the differences and pros and cons of each. National winners. In national pigeon racing competitions, fanciers enter their own pigeons to compete against others in their national organization. For example, in the United States, there are large national organizations like the American Racing Pigeon Union, AU, and the International Federation, IF, which organize races across the country. Fanciers enter their pigeons in these sanctioned races at specific distances like 100, 300, 500 miles or more. The winners at national competitions are pigeons that have demonstrated speed and endurance by beating thousands of other pigeons entered across the country. The national competitions often take place over a series of weeks, so winning requires consistency and fitness over an extended period. A national winner has to perform well week after week in different conditions and headwinds. Pros. Tests of pigeon speed, endurance and consistency across many different races and laws. A national winner has proved itself against a large field of competitors across diverse conditions. Rewards the fanciers breeding and training skills. Winning at national events requires developing excellent family lines of pigeons over many generations as well as rigorous training and conditioning. The fancier is recognized for their skill and dedication. Prestige of winning at the highest levels of the sport. National competitions represent the pinnacle of pigeon racing. Winning against the largest fields of entrance is a great source of pride for fanciers. Opportunity for high prize money and value for breeding. There is often substantial prize money for national victories. Also, a national winner's value as a breeder skyrockets. Fanciers will pay top dollar for the offspring of national champions. Cons. Extremely difficult competition. With thousands of fanciers across the country entering their best pigeons, just competing at the national level is an immense challenge, let alone winning. The competition is fierce, and luck also plays a role. Requires substantial investments of time, resources and money. To have pigeons capable of competing and winning nationally, fanciers need to devote huge amounts of time and funds to select breeding, proper loft facilities, training regimes, etc. It's costly and labor-intensive. Only rewards individual loft success. While the fancier gets all the glory, national competitions don't say much about the pigeons themselves compared to other birds. Success comes down to one fancier's breeding and handling. Winners may not fare as well in different lofts or conditions. There's no guarantee a national winner would excel under different fanciers or environments. Its abilities are untested outside its own loft. One loft races. One loft races take a different approach to competition. Pigeons from many different lofts and fanciers come together to compete in a single race under the same conditions. Fanciers send their pigeon to the centralized loft, where the birds are trained and raced together. One loft races really test the pigeons themselves in a diverse competitive environment. Pros. Competition based on the pigeon's merit alone. With all birds housed and handled the same, one loft races really boil down to the individual pigeon's strength, intelligence and flying ability since loft or fancier advantages are removed. Rewards the breeder's skill. While the fancier doesn't play a role once the birds come together, one loft races really highlight the breeder's eye for quality stock and breeding success. Winning pigeons command huge breeding fees. Test pigeons across diverse conditions and competition. With pigeons coming together from across regions, countries or continents, one loft races expose birds to new environments, training, nutrition and competition. Winners have demonstrated adaptability and talent. Level playing field. Each entrant competes under identical circumstances in the centralized loft, making it a true test of the best pigeon in the field. There are no advantages or excuses based on loft, training or handling. High prize money and breeding value for winners. With many fanciers contributing entry fees, one loft races often have huge prize purses. Winners can earn six-figure prize checks. Their breeding value also shoots up based on their proven merit. Cons. Requires giving up control to a central loft. Fanciers have to trust the organizers to care for, train and race the pigeons fairly and competently. Not all lofts operate to high standards. Risk of health issues in a communal loft. Bringing together pigeons from various sources poses biosecurity risks. Illness can spread rapidly in a concentrated communal loft. Logistical challenges of sending birds to another loft. Transporting pigeons safely to the centralized loft and home after the race requires planning and money. Some birds get lost or die in transit. Less prestige than national victories. One loft races don't get quite the same respect in the pigeon racing world. 
they are seen as more of a commercial enterprise compared to national competitions. Requires giving up ownership temporarily. Fanciers surrender their pigeons for weeks or months to compete. And they have to hope the organizers send back the right bird afterwards. Key differences. In summary, the key differences come down to. National races reward the fancier skills, while one loft races focus on the pigeons' innate qualities. National winners prove their results in one loft over time, versus one loft winners showing versatility across different lofts in a single race. National races involve much more work and investment from the fancier, but provide higher prestige. One loft races offer higher prize money and breeding value in exchange for giving up some control. National competition has a subjective element based on the fancier's role, while one loft results are purely down to the pigeon's objective performance. So while national winners get more respect from fanciers, one loft winners better demonstrate the underlying genetic abilities of the pigeons themselves. Each format has advantages that appeal to different priorities for fanciers in the pigeon racing world. The debate over which type of winner is more impressive will continue, but having both formats provides options for fanciers and helps highlight the best pigeons through different lenses. Free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment. 